how to perform a combustion analysis. Locate the on-off switch on the bottom of the unit. Turn the switch to the off position. Remove the front panel by pulling on the handles on the right and left side of the unit. Lift the panel up and pull it away from the unit. Locate and remove the flu sensor from the vent connection. Turn the on-off switch to the on position. Locate the pinhole button on the display. Using a paper clip or something similar, press and hold the button for five seconds. The word service will appear on the status line of the display. The unit will fire at its normal ignition speed and will then modulate its firing rate to 100%. During service mode, the control will ignore all other heat demands. However, all safeties and maximum set point temperatures will be active. If no other buttons are pushed, the control will automatically revert back to its original state after the service mode delay has expired. The default time for the service mode delay is 10 minutes. Once the unit has modulated its firing rate up to 100%, insert the probe from a combustion analyzer into the hole left by the removal of the flue sensor and measure the combustion. Refer to the flu products table in the service manual for proper combustion levels. If the combustion levels are not within the specified ranges, several items could be the cause. Verify that the vent and air intake pipes are installed correctly. Reference the venting section of the installation and operation manual that was supplied with the unit for the proper installation methods. Verify that there is no blockage or obstruction in the vent or air intake pipes or at the terminal points. Refer to the video, How to Measure Inlet Gas Pressure, to determine if an adequate gas supply has been delivered to the unit. Refer to the video, Burner Removal and Cleaning, to determine if the burner is damaged or is in need of cleaning. Refer to the video Heat Exchanger Access and Cleaning to determine if the heat exchanger is in need of cleaning. If the combustion levels are still not within the specified ranges after reviewing the possible causes, adjustment of the gas valve may be necessary. Locate the throttle adjustment screw. Using a screwdriver, Turn the adjustment screw one quarter turn clockwise to decrease carbon dioxide levels and one quarter turn counterclockwise to increase carbon dioxide levels. After one adjustment of the valve, allow the combustion to stabilize and recheck the combustion levels. If the combustion levels are still not within the specified range, repeat the adjustment procedure. If, after four adjustments, the combustion levels are still not within the specified range, revisit the other possible causes or replace the gas valve. Once the combustion analysis is complete, press the right select key to take the unit out of service mode. The unit will return to normal operation. Turn the on-off switch to the off position. Replace the flu sensor in the vent connection. Replace the front panel on the unit. Turn the on-off switch to the on position. The unit is now ready to accept a heat demand.